This is a brass thread inserter. It is used to insert a hot piece of brass into your 3D printed hole. Why would you want to do such a thing? Well, money is not an issue and you have an Amazon addiction. So if you've been working with 3D prints for a while, you've discovered that glue and self-tapping screws just don't cut it when you're trying to join two pieces together. These brass inserts get melted right into your print and then you have a nice threaded metal hole you can screw into using an M2, M3, or even an M5 screw, depending on which kit you buy. What I did was I made a tool to make this process easier. You see, when you're going to install these, you basically need a third arm, either to hold the soldering iron or hold the brass sensor with pliers because it's going to get really hot. And then you have to try to align all of that with your print and make sure that it goes in to prevent any misalignment issues. If you clicked on this video because of the chat GPT in the title, I will be explaining how I use it to program Pressy later on. But first, I'm going to show you how I built this mofo. Let's go. To begin, I printed all my parts out of this orange filament, and there was a total of five pieces for the base and two for the foot pedal. The largest of the pieces was the base. To this base, I installed brass inserts to support the stepper motor and the Arduino, as well as a lid that holds it all together. To the base, I installed the aluminum extrusion that would be used as my vertical rails. After those were securely installed using T-slot nuts and bolts, it was time to install the stepper motor. The stepper motor and base are held together by this lid that also helps align the rails. Most of the parts I used for this video were from an old uh, virus infected 3D printer I got from China. And it wasn't Corona, it was a computer virus. But I basically left links to all the stuff down below. Check them out, it helps support the channel please. Moving right along, it was time to assemble the carriage that would hold a soldering iron as it moves up and down. As you can see, I reused more of those uh, 3D printer parts for this tool. And after all four of them were installed and rolling, it was time to hit Hollywood Boulevard. Just kidding. I installed two brass inserts on the bottom, and then that's where the spiral axle screw thing would go. As it spins, it'll move the carriage up and down. After that, it's time to couple the axle and the stepper motor together using this coupler. And I'm going to give it a quick test just to make sure it goes up and down smoothly. which it does and then next up time to put the top of the tool on so this one has a limit switch to let the arduino know that the carriage is at the top of the tool and since we're talking about the arduino let's install that once that's in i installed the motor shield that i had from another project onto this and the shield's going to be used to control the stepper motor um, I wire that up and then the motor's good to go and then for the two switches I wired them using this breakout cable that came with the motor shield. So for the two switches they basically just plug into D1 and D2 um, and then D1 is going to be the limit switch for the top of the tool to let it know that the carriage is at the top and then the other one is going to be used for the foot pedal. For the foot pedal, I designed this two-piece pedal and it just uses a spring, a limit switch, um, and some wire to operate, so came out pretty good. If you want to make any part of this, by the way, all the files are linked down below. It is going to cost you, but it's only a like and subscribe, maybe notifications on, but should be good to access them. And then lastly, for the tool portion of this, it was time to install the soldering iron into the carriage. I used another piece of aluminum. Uh, and then another 3D printed bracket to join it all together. But that was it. That concludes the assembly of the tool. Now time to program it.
So I could have programmed this whole thing without using ChatGPT, but where's the video idea in that? To begin, here's the prompt that I entered into ChatGPT. Pause and read it. And at first it gave me a error code when I put it into the Arduino IDE. And instead of troubleshooting it, I just told ChatGPT what the error was and it fixed it. Nice. After that, I had some movement on the tool, but it wasn't correct. How the tool should work is on the first boot, the carriage moves all the way to the top and waits for the pedal to be pressed. Once it is pressed, it will set the height of where it should return to after every other future press on the pedal. The height setting can only be set once per boot. So meaning once you set your height, every time you hit the pedal, it's going to go down as much as you want it to, but then always come back to that position. And then lastly, if you want to change your height, you just reboot the whole thing and you're good to go. And that was really it. The only other modification to the code was adding the code to enable the stepper motor, which were two lines of code. For some reason, ChatGPT didn't include it. And I mean, there is still some bugs, but those are above my pay grade. So, okay, see you later. Bye. And if you want to check out the code, let me know and I can email it to you. Uh, leave a comment or follow me on Instagram at Alan's Inventions. And all right, I'll see you later. Bye.